Hello, and welcome back to the Create Series, Season 1, Episode 15. In the last episode, we vanquished the dragon and opened up the end. In this episode, we're going to waste no time. We're going to hop into the end and get those wings. I need to fly. I need my wings. Finally, I've been at this for hours and hours and hours. I ran out of blocks about an hour ago. Had to mine some in stone. But finally, finally a ship. And we just got to get up there. actually kind of works. Wasn't really going for that, but okay. All right, I get knocked off. The plan is to throw an under pearl. Wings, wings, wings. Yeah, here we go. I can fly! I can fly! Whee. Feels good. Mission accomplished. I have wings. And I got some pretty good loot from raiding the end. Got some shuckle boxes, although, you know, with toolboxes, eh, I haven't had a great need for shuckle boxes. Uh, I don't know. I guess they're still useful. They're use useful if you, like, put random stuff in them. I guess you want to do more bulk stuff. Maybe the toolboxes are a little better. But I'll use them both. All in all, a good run. So you remember that time when Blind Eye was holding up everything? Yeah. I might have overcompensated a bit. I think I'm going to be good on Blind Eye. So I think what I'm going to do is convert my cactus farm into a slime block farm. I just got to figure out how to fit it in this hole. Let me think about that. I think I'm going to start by having the cactus run over here so I have room to put stuff. So I'll put that there. Okay. 
All right, so that'll run that into there, and then we're going to have a smart chute coming out. And we're going to set the smart chute to two, because we want it to distribute two at a time into a double chest. The reason we want that is because we are going to split the output. Get rid of these. This is all the cactus I had from before. Part of this is going to go directly into a mill. So the cactus will fall in, go directly into the mill, and then I get converted to green dye. So another one's going to go down into a composter. Oh, the floor under there. And then that is going to end up. Oh, that's going to be fun. I'm going to have to build up from the bottom. Okay, well, if that's built up, we can put that there. We can put a weighted ejector that goes from there to there. So this will turn into bone mill, get dumped on the weighted ejector, get dumped in here, and that gets, will get crushed down into um, white dye. We'll have green dye, white dye coming out, and we'll take that out to be mixed. Bring the green dye out one. Let that go to a depot, and then we'll bring the uh, white dye out three. If I stick a basin right there, that'll put white dye into it. If I do that, the green dye will come out like it's stuck in this basin. Then we'll put in a mixer and we'll mix those up. That'll turn that into lime dye. We go out to that depot. At that point we want to mix the lime dye with some dough. Got to make dough. We'll mill up some wheat. Carry that over here. Drop it on a depot. So we'll insert that into another basin. And we'll mix it. So we'll need to make that be filtered to dough. So this one we'll need to take the green dye, but that's all that can be here. So that one's fine. This one will have to be dough. In order to make that dough, we'll need to wash this. I need to drop some water in there. So let me build up the floor. All right, that'll hold the water. Our case fan there. that those are needed bricks. Okay, that's gonna hold the water. Go ahead and do that. All right, and that'll wash the wheat flour and the dough and then run it in there. Okay, so when the wheat flour goes in, or I'm sorry, when the dough goes in and the lime dye, that'll get turned into slime balls. Dump that into another basin. Then we'll use a mechanical press. Press those into slime blocks. This we'll put into, I don't know, well, well, let's just stick into a barrel for now. And that's the basics of the machine. So for now, I'll manually feed it wheat. Uh, let me get power hooked up, and we'll try it out just to make sure that it's going to work. Oh, there are there are a couple other additions we do need. Grinding of the wheat, I think, is going to create seeds. So I'm just going to dump those out for now. And then grinding of the bone mill also creates light dye. So we're going to need to filter those two out. And we need to fall to a uh, light gray dial keep for now. 
change that for a smart shoot. We might get creative with the seeds. We'll see. All right, I'm going to go hook up power, and I'll be right back. Okay, I have power hooked up here, I guess. I've wired up all the uh, other shafts. I guess it's time to make the connection and see what happens. It's going to go the wrong way first time. Just That's just what it does. Yep, wrong way. Okay. That's fine. So in another gearbox. Okay, so that's going the correct way. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do... Take that out. Take this out. And a vertical here. Regular shaft here. Okay. So that has that turned in that way. Good. Those are going the right direction. These don't matter. They'll spin whatever way. And oh, please go the right way. Yes, it's going the right way. Okay. Okay, stuff's happening. Okay, okay, let's see. Let's see if this works. Did that go do a thing? I don't know. No, nothing's in there yet. Okay, maybe that wasn't enough. Let me throw in plenty of cactus. All right, it's definitely going into the composter. I want to look from over here. Oh, oh, I got tossed up. Did you see that? Oh, you know what? Uh, uh, okay, you see what I did? This needs to have a chute underneath it. This needs to all drop one lower. Okay. I'm going to have to rebuild pretty much the whole thing. I should have paid attention to that. And, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's give this another go. Everything's been lowered a block. Alright, green dye's coming out out here mixing. That's a good, that's a good sign. Oh yeah, we got lime dye in there. Sweet, okay. Heat up the process a little bit. now let's go get some manual wheat. All right, I got some seeds. Throw a couple of those out and dump them for now. All right, I'm just gonna throw in a little bit of wheat to begin with because I need uh, a dough ball to filter by. I should be able to throw a bunch of wheat. Wheat flour should come out. It should get turned into dough by the water. And this is going to be a trickle farm. This thing going to be super fast. But I'm just going to let it sit here and run. Ooh, there we go. It's mixing. Ooh, ooh, slime balls. Okay, that goes to nowhere right now. Let me fix that. Hear the ding? Hear the ding? You know what that means? Line block. Yes. Obviously, I'm not going to feed it wheat manually. Uh, I think what I'll do is just build a little wheat farm down here. 
put a weighted ejector on it, have it fling up into that, and it'll be a completely automated farm. That's the plan. Yeah, this goes. It was fast, but I think it works. Okay, I think it's all done. So let's go through a quick summary of what happens. We're sitting underneath the skyscraper that contains the cactus farm. So the cactus falls down here, like that. They go into the air. They'll only get dropped out two at a time. That makes sure that they're evenly split between these two hoppers. Here, this hopper goes into a composter. The composter spits out bone meal. Bone meal gets tossed into this mill. Gets milled down into white dye, which will go into this basin. The other half goes straight into a mill, which mills the cactus into green dye. And it goes over there, gets sucked into this basin as well. This mixer will then mix the green dye and the white dye and make lime dye and spit it out here, which will go into that basin. Okay. And then over here, if you look below, this is a wheat farm. The wheat machine will grab the wheat, pick it up through the portable interface. The seeds fall over here. And they get popped up into here and go into the composter to turn into more bone meal. The wheat gets dropped here. And that gets thrown into that hopper. Which goes into that barrel. Which goes into yet another meal. It's milled into this wheat flour. The wheat flour goes over, gets washed into dough, and goes into that basin. And in this basin, we're now mixing lime dye and dough which turns into slime balls. Slime balls build up in here till they get to nine slime balls, and then the press thinks, thinks them into slime blocks. Slime block farm. Simple, right? So while I've been working around the base and off doing my shenanigans, the upper level farms have been dutifully working. I think they're probably all full, except maybe the iron one. But how would I know? And that's a very good question. So that's why I think we should put a display board right here to let us know. We'll pull power from the ceiling. All right, we got power up there. Your box in. Connect the display links with their targets. Should be able to get some information. Oh, no, jump on that. Ah! Fine. Okay. Yeah, we'll get some information from the existing slide pile switches that we used to shut off the machines, and then we'll get some from uh, the content observers. So let's do the content observer first. We're going to say. Uh, list of matching items. Put that on line one? Yep, sounds good. Okay, on this one we'll do, yeah, fill level, um, percent. We'll put that on line two. And let's go see what that looks like. 
Okay, 100k of cobblestone at 97%. Hmm. Is it worth adding another board just so it can be a little bit longer? I don't know. Let me hook up the rest and we'll we'll make that call. Okay, there we go. I think I will add the extra display board in. Hmm. That seems to have broken some things, but not others. Um, okay. Let me fix that, I guess. Okay, fix those. You can see the iron farm is draining the gravel. When it drains, it goes completely out, which I don't really like. I might just put in a label and the amounts. Okay, one more tweak. There we go. Now we have the exact amounts of each thing and their fill percentage. We can come up here and see what we have at a glance. I like it. And that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next episode.